see waste. Which is being carried out inside building. Uh, so where is being uh, is the pipe? So where is the pipe which carries the waste, which is what we call sewage, right? Therefore, the sewage is the waste, right? That flows inside the sewer. So a complete connection of sewer is what we call sewerage. Okay. The whole system of pipes, valves, and so on that is put inside a um, design area to what? To transfer from the uh, point of wastage to the point of disposal. That is what we call sewerage. Again, I will repeat. Sewer is the pipeline that carries waste, which is called sewage. And if there are several sewer connected to one another to perform one specific function, those collection of sewer are called sewerage. Right? Those three words will always be asked in the body shop and will always be confusing. Will always be confusing. The sewer is the pipe. What is inside the pipe is sewage. Take note, sewer is the pipe that accepts waste. It is different from the pipe for water supply, which is always potable clean water is what we call supply pipeline but for waste that is what we call sewer the pipe that is uh, having to do with the waste is what we call sewer so the uh, waste inside the sewer is what we call sewage okay So, sewage is the one inside the pipe. Sewer is the person who make up your clothes. Okay. Is that okay? Uh, not correct. Uh, okay. You do not agree, but if I ask you, what do you call the person who make your clothes? Of course, it is here. Okay. Actually, that is Tyler. No? Okay. Okay. So, let us go back to the uh, questions. So, uh, where we are now? Building drain and building sewer. So, of course, building drain carries what? Sewage inside. Oh, but it is called building drain rather than building sewer. Because building sewer is different from building drain. Okay. Let us sketch a simple uh, building. Okay. We have a simple building. Uh, this is the what? Uh, soil. Okay, soil. Earth. And this is the what? Uh, boundary line, fence. Uh, front fence, back fence. Okay. So usually, front fence is what? 
28 di what? highway or road roads are uh, located so and uh, usually beneath the road there is a what? water line and what? Uh, usually Right. Water supply line, for example, Nawasa, Manila, drainage, either it is a culvert or a constructed uh, drainage system. Usually in uh, Tagi, it is a look like this. No? What do you say this is complete? The first question, you don't know. The answer. How far is your building wall? How far is your building wall to the main line? May I not? But you know what? There is no water meter. Where do you want to put your water meter? Where? There is no information on water meter. Is this the owner of Manila Water that uh, is uh, what? free of charge? No, there is no information on water meter. Okay? So put that on your uh, notebook. Water meter is a must. Mainline location is a must. Drainage location is a must. There are no indication so what happened just draw us an arrow and say to straight drainage a very very convenient way of dealing with the uh, problem just draw an arrow and Put down the note to the street drainage. Uh, meaning, going to be clean drainage. <laughs> he doesn't know the location. He just instructed the uh, master planner in terms of instruction to look for it yourself. That is how he decided something. Failing somebody, uh, just look for the drainage system yourself. What a convenient way to do it. Another one. Arrow to water meter. This is laughable. Alright? That is laughable. Okay. That's why you, homeowners, have to pay the ingress. Because if you don't pay the ingress, they will do your plan like this. Alright? So, that is uh, almost the situation in the Philippines. That if you have a friend or have an acquaintance engineer, you expect their work to be free of charge. Alright? So, uh, this is my friend. Can you design me a and we expect your uh, effort to be free of charge. And that's why those engineers are now but doing their work like this. They are not seriously making your plan at par with the requirement of the code. That's the reason why. Of course, this engineer knows about this. Wow. So, in this uh, regard, include in your list all the sizes of the pipe that is used in all three. Stone water, uh, DWB, and water supply line. Okay. So let us uh, do it next meeting. Okay, let us continue. Chapter 3 and faster. So, what about 
the next uh, section is page 304, connection to plumbing system required. It is uh, self-explanatory that uh, all plumbing fixture, oh, drains, appurtenances, and plants used to receive for discharge liquid waste or sewage shall be connected properly. Okay, so next section, 305. So we report, we are actually preparing to build this well in this section. This is the building well. From what? Two feet? Distance from the wall going to any public or private disposal system. Okay. Section 306. Damage to drainage system or public sewer. Okay. You are free to connect to the public main and public sewer. The charge is per month if you connect to the supply line. But here, there's no additional charges. Alright? And all of your uh, septic tank waste could be delivered to or could be ask the assistance and service of the water, the water uh, utility, for example, the tagging. We need our septic tank to be clean. So we have to what? call the water uh, supply utility company. And the tagging that is Manila Water. And today, 10 o'clock, we will have what? Water interruption in Central Bigotan. Today, up to tomorrow, 10 a.m. 10 p.m. to 10 a.m. Uh, scheduled water interruption by Manila Water. So Manila Water is the one in charge for cleaning our city tank. And that is supposed to be free of charge. You don't know it. You don't know it that it's supposed to be clean jar. If you ask the help of Manila Water to clean your sleeping tap, you will what? Consciously pay. But that is not you because the payment is already done monthly. Right? That is included in the water charge already. However, since we do not know the situation, we still pay for the cleaning. But the payment is actually what? Go to the great public sewer. We are liable. This is the last section. Section 316. Last section for the day. Last section for the chapter 3. Alright? And mind you, after this section, try to uh, to think about what is the next most important chapter in this book. Okay? So, trenching, excavation, and toxic. So, in this uh, regard, the uh, what? building drain in the sewer is what? Below the soil. So, you have to what? Dig. You have to dig. You dig in an area of soil. So, that area of soil Big, big part that looks like a canal for five purposes that is what we call trench right that is what we call trench and after excavation and putting the pipe lines provide a notice to the building official three days for the building official to come up and inspect test after testing, you may now uh, pack me the soil. Okay? So that is the process of trenching, excavation, and pack okay? Do not pack me before uh, the building vision uh, approve the uh, installation. Otherwise, if you even concrete this floor, uh, the building vision will uh, try to work. So, uh, personally dig it and he will what physically 
visually see the piping. Okay. So that is uh, the case. And uh, for today, uh, thank you very much. And uh, I repeat, think of a uh, possible next chapter of the discussion next meeting. And before we go, let's uh, give a hand to those who got the better number of points. Okay. Okay. How many of those to our future engineers? Uh, Tiklin, the Pumos, Iglesia, Paglinawa, Meres, Okay. And, and uh, a special shout out to Doron and his parents for having been able to score four points out of five. So, this meeting, I will uh, show you the answer this meeting. Thank you very much, especially to our uh, likers and subscribers. Don't uh, forget our uh, next uh, episode of this Master Plan Review. Okay.